Hey, welcome to this video. So today we will see how to improve your WooCommerce card experience using one simple and a free plugin called Card Pops. This one and using this plugin you can easily provide a beautiful card experience to your customers. Uh, now the interface it provides to admin and customer is so elegant that I can't keep my eyes off it. So this is their website cardpops.com. Now if you want to see all the features of this plugin you can open up the features link from here and then read out all the features it provides from here. So let's see what the free version has to offer. For that let's go to dashboard and then go to plugins then add new and then search here for card pops and there we go simply install it and activate it so this plugin is does not have that many uh, installations because it's it's very new and uh, yep there we go the admin dashboard and from here you will be able to change all the settings of the card pops so this is their dashboard and from here you can see if there is any issues that will be shown right over here and you can enable card pops by enabling this switch it's enabled by default so let's go to the appearance and from here we will be able to change all the colors uh, so uh, let's see uh, how it looks like on our website first and then we will come to the settings so i have already you know played around with it and uh, as you can see this is the this is the drawer if you click on this floating icon it provides this floating icon right over here and if you click on it uh, it's gonna show up this drawer and in here you will be able to see all the items that you have in your card and right over here is something they called the recommendation engine and uh, here you will be able to select upsells or cross sells or in their pro version you can even select custom products so if you have any pro if you have any discount code that can be added right over here like that so we'll get to this in a bit so this is how it works it provides this uh, floating icon if you click on it, it it shows this drawer in the pro version we have a pop-up and a bar feature and we'll get to that later in this video so that's what we we can have in the in the free version so let's move to the plugin settings and in the appearance tab we will be able to change all the colors from here from a floating icon to drawer and yep you can change almost every color from here so on the right side we have different themes so let's simply apply a different theme so currently it's on the dark theme and let's apply a bg and then uh, save the settings so let's see as you can see this is the beachy team and now it's a it's a white a light team and uh, yep that's how you can easily change the colors according to the team they have provided okay so I would like to go with the dark one because I like it so let's move to the customization and in the general area in the customization we can have different animation the first one is fade slide and ride and slick so I like the slick one because it adds animation to all the elements in a sequence and uh, I really like it and you can change the speed from here and then we have this option to change the draw width for mobile or desktop you can adjust it adjust it from here so let's go to the settings and from here we can change the trigger method uh, let's say a customer adds a product to their card once they have added the product to their card it will show a drawer that okay so let me simply show it to you okay so let me open up this product from here and if i add it to my card as you can see it immediately shows this drawer right over here and i have added this product to my card i can change the quantity like that i can decrease it i can remove it as well like that i can simply undo it if i if i did it by mistake all right so let's move to the card pop options right over here you can enable the coupon form if you like you can also change the floating card launcher settings from here you can enable it if you like just disable it if you don't and you can change the position from here it can be bottom right or bottom left and then we have this menu card launcher settings and we'll get to this in a bit so let's go to the power ups and from here you can enable this recommendation engine 
that shows right over here this is called the recommendation engine so you can enable it if you like you can change the title and then you can change the type to upsells or cross sells but in the pro version you can add custom products so if there isn't any upsell or cross sells you can show random products or hide the recommendation engine and then we have the free shipping meter and we'll also get to this in a bit so in the advanced tab you can enable this card pops uh, powered by card pops link that uh, that will help the developers it will show up right in your drawer and uh, you can uh, simply enable it if you like and down here you will be able to change all the titles or uh, or if your site is in a different language you can set it according to what you like so yep you can also add custom css and gss and js right over here and then we have this force refresh on page load so and that's about it for for this card pops dashboard settings and now we have the the uh, menu launcher menu card launcher from here we can have different icons okay let's go to the appearance and then menus and from here scroll down to card pops and simply add it to your menu right over here so as i have already added it i'll delete one okay so this is our card pops items added to our menu which is placed right over here and uh, you can simply change the this icon from your card pops dashboard for now it's the card one we can also have the bag let's save it and refresh it and as you can see now it's a bag it also shows this uh, total amount of the products in the card and in the circle we have the total number of products in our card it, the number also shows right over here in our floating icon all right so uh, so if you want to hide the menu card uh, when the card is empty you can enable this option uh, or you can uh, simply disable it uh, this hide indicator means uh, this this little text right over here that shows how many products are in the card you can enable it or disable it if you like you can also show subtotal of the products right over here this one so that's about it uh, for the free version and now let's move to the pro version of the card pops so to use the pro version we will have to purchase the pro version obviously by going to pricing page of cardpops.com and from here you can select the plan that you like and for now the yearly plan and the lifetime plan cost exactly the same so i would recommend you to go with the lifetime plan because uh, there are there's many stuff going to happen with the card pops in near future because they are really new so if you like to have monthly plan then you can go ahead with that so if you want to purchase any plan just click on buy now button and it's going to show up this pop-up and from here look for this have a promotional code link and then enter here summer j15 to have a 15 percent discount to save you some more bucks so that's it once you have purchased the pro pro version you can then go to your wordpress dashboard go to account of card pops under the card pops and from here let's sync the license and uh, here we go now i can activate the pro plan and okay so i have activated the pro plan already and uh, you can download the pro version by clicking right over here but i have already installed it onto my website so i'll just go to install the plugins so to activate the card pops pro make sure you deactivate the card pops free version so there is an update while i'm recording this video all right so uh, let's me simply update right now and now let's activate the card pops pro so we got the pro version installed onto our website so now we can use the pro pro features of this plugin the first one is by going to settings and from here we can have two more triggers the second one is pop-up and the third one is bar and the first one is the drawer that we already have in our free version so let's simply activate the pop-up and save the setting and see how it shows up let's refresh this page okay so let's add this product to our cart and there we go it shows this pop-up right over here it shows the product we have added and a button to 
proceed to checkout and some upsells right over here. You can also click on this button to continue shipping or to close the pop-up like that. And the third one is uh, the bar. Let's save it and now let's refresh this page again and let's add it to cart. And there we go. It's showing the bar under the admin bar right over here. So we'll just open up this link in incognito mode. So let's add the product to our cart and see the bar. As you can see right over here, the product and the button to check out. Right now the bar looks very simple and uh, I would like to have the bar active. And uh, then we have some other features in the pro version. Uh, by going to the power ups and enable this free shipping meter so now from here we will be able to set up our uh, free shipping meter you can change the free shipping meter text from right over here you will see more info about how to show amount or country or flag so to use this make sure you have set up your uh, store correctly in your WooCommerce settings you, you need to have your store address right over here and uh, you can in, you can select specific countries you sell to so for now it's currently Pakistan and Singapore let's add United States as well and and make sure that this geolocated option is enabled now let's save the changes and to use it properly we need to uh, use the maxmind api so you will need to go to maxmind.com and from here you need to create a free account and then you need to uh, add your uh, api this geo api to your woocommerce settings right over here uh, and i have already added it so uh, once you have added simply click on save changes and uh, and then we have the uh, free shipping meter all set up and uh, you can also change some other text from here like if the customer have uh, reached the free shipping amount you can change the text from here and you can also get free shipping meter trigger it can be from your WooCommerce setting or set a custom amount so let's simply set a custom amount of uh, 100 100 dollars or euros or whatever you have added in your WooCommerce settings so it's currently United States dollar so so the free shipping amount is $100 and let's save the settings and now let's refresh this page and let's open up our cart and there we go our free shipping meter as you can see my current order is $255 and it says congrats you have earned free shipping to Pakistan all right so if I remove this product to my cart and it will say only hundred dollar away from your shipping to pakistan okay so that's how the free shipping works okay so the next pro feature we have is under the power ups is this recommendation engine so if you don't have upsells or cross sales you can simply click on custom products select custom products from the drop down and then here you will be able to set your custom products okay so from here let's so let's add some products and it's it's going to show up these three products in the in the recommendation engine okay so let's refresh this page and there we go these three products in our recommendation so if you go to the dashboard and from here scroll down and enable chat support it's going to show up this icon right over here and from here you will be able to have instant answers or ask for help if you need any so yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you liked this uh, cool tool for your woocommerce side and i hope it's going to help you boost your woocommerce sales and uh, i really i really like the idea of this plugin the way it works the interface it provides and the features of this plugin and i would like to see what they come up with in near future so that's it for today's video make sure you use the link in the description of this video if you want to purchase the pro version and using that link you can use the discount code summerj 15 to get a 15% discount on your pro purchase. So that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, have a great day. Peace out.